Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. I am a little sick so if you hear me huffing and puffing behind here, I am doing my absolute best. Today we are going to be making a cute fall beanie. It's super beginner friendly, super easy. All we're going to be doing is a double crochet stitch, maybe a single crochet and a slip stitch, but I will walk you through the entire process. I'm going to be using this Juniper Moon Farm yarn. It's a DK weight four in the color 10, and I'm probably gonna be using about 150 to 200 yards of that. I'm also going to be using an F hook, and I'm gonna be doubling these skeins together just to make them a little bit thicker, but really, whatever yarn you have will work, whatever hook you have will work. This is just a guideline of how to get the layout. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Grab your yarn and grab your hook, and I will meet you in the next video. Okay, so I have both of my skeins together. I am going to do a slip knot. If you don't know how to do a slip knot, I would recommend just looking up on YouTube how to do a slip knot. And then we are going to chain three. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through once again. So now we have three chains. And into the first chain, we're going to insert our hook. We're going to pull it through the chain and then pull it through the loop on our hook. So that's a slip stitch. Then we are going to chain three to prepare for our first double crochet. And this does not count as a double crochet. Then we are going to yarn over for our first double crochet and not into this hole that's going to be tempting to go through back here. But you want to find the center of where we slip stitch to, so mine is right down here. And into the center, we're going to work our first double crochet. So we just yarned over, we're going to go into that center, we're going to yarn over again. We should have three loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through two, we should have two on our hook, yarn over, pull through the last two. So that's our first double crochet. Now we're gonna do that nine more times. So yarn over through the center, yarn over, should have three on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two more. So that's our second one. Now I'm gonna do that eight more times. Okay, so I just completed my 10 double crochets into the center. I have a total of 10 stitches around. And remember this first chain three does not count as a stitch or a double crochet. So now we are going to slip stitch into the very top chain of that chain three we created. So not into the first double crochet like my bucket hat tutorial, but into the very top chain three space. We are gonna put our hook, we're gonna yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop on our hook. So that's our slip stitch. Now we're gonna to go to the next round. So we are going to chain three again. This does not count as a double crochet. And now we are going to increase in every single double crochet of the previous round. So to increase, first let me tell you what stitch we're going through. So you'll have a little hole here. We're not gonna go through that very first kind of like chain space hole, we're gonna go through the very first double crochet from the previous row. So to increase, you're gonna go in to that very first stitch, you're gonna yarn over, do a regular double crochet, pull through two, pull through two more, and all an increase is is doing two stitches into the same stitch. So we just did one, we are gonna do one more into that very same stitch. And there's two. And now we're gonna do that in every single stitch around. So again, in the next stitch, one double crochet and two double crochets. So go ahead and do that all the way around and I will meet you back. So I'm coming up on my last few increases of this round and I just wanted to show you guys what stitch I end on. 
So I'm at 18 here because I've done two double crochets in every single double crochet. And now I'm going to go 19 here and 20 here. So now that I end on 20, it's going to be tempting to go through this stitch here, but we're going to just leave that because it's connected to the chain three. Now we are going to slip stitch again to the very top chain of that chain three. So yarn over and pull through both. And then we're done with that round. Moving on, we just ended with 20 double crochets in round two. Now I'm going to chain three again. And we are going to increase in every other stitch. So what that's going to look like, you're going to yarn over. Remember, we're not going through this hole right here. We're going to go through that very first double crochet. So yarn over, pull up your loop, pull through two, pull through two more. So we're not going to increase in the first, but we're going to increase in the second. So we're going to increase here in the next stitch. So put two double crochets into that next stitch. And then the next stitch we are not going to increase. So no increase there. Next stitch we are going to increase. So two double crochets into that stitch. And we're going to complete this pattern for the remainder of the round. So no increase, then increase, no increase, then increase. Okay, I'm towards the end of this round and I wanted to show you guys how I close it up. So I'm on my 27th stitch here. And it's an increase, so my next 128 is just a regular double crochet. And then into the last stitch here, I'm going to do 29 and 30. I'm not going to worry about this little stitch here because it's connected to our chain three. Then we are going to slip stitch to the very top of that chain three chain, and we're ready for the next round. So now starting round four, we are going to start with our chain three. And now we're going to be increasing in every third stitch. So what that looks like, we are going to yarn over, go into our very first double crochet, work one regular double crochet. In the next stitch, just another regular double crochet. And into that third stitch, we're going to do our increase. So I'm going to work two double crochets into there. And again, next stitch, just one regular double crochet. Next stitch, regular double crochet. And into that third stitch, we're gonna work our increase. So go ahead and do this all the way around and I will meet you guys back. So I'm at the end of round four. I'm on my 36th stitch. Next one is the regular double crochet, that's 37. Next one, regular. That's 38 and my last stitch is an increase should be an increase of 39 and 40 now I'm going to slip stitch to the top chain space of the previous round and we're done with that round now for round five we're going to start with our chain three you should get the pattern by now if you don't it's okay we are going to increase in every fourth stitch. So what that's going to look like, work your first double crochet, second one in the next one, third one in the third one, and we're going to increase in the fourth. So work two double crochets into the fourth stitch. Again, one regular, two regular, three regular, and we're gonna increase in the fourth. So go ahead and do that all the way around and I will meet you back. I'm at the end of round five. I'm on my 45th stitch. I am going to do my regular one double crochet, two double crochet, three double crochet, and end on 49 and 50 as my last increase. Then I'm going to slip stitch to the top of that chain three space and we are done with that round. 
Okay, so I hope you guys are catching on to the pattern here. Round one was 10 stitches, round two, 20, round three, 30, round four, 40, round five, 50, and now we're on round six and we should have 60 stitches. We are going to increase in every fifth stitch of this round. So it's gonna be one regular double crochet, two regular double crochet, three regular, four regular, and we are gonna increase in the fifth stitch. So I'll go ahead and do that for you guys. So one regular double crochet, two regular, three regular, four regular, and increase in this fifth stitch here. And we're gonna do that all the way around. I'm at the end of round six. I'm at my 54th stitch. So next one, regular, 55, 56, 57, 58, and my last should be an increase, 59, and 60. Like always, gonna slip stitch into the top of that chain three. Now for round seven, we are gonna increase in every sixth stitch. So I just chained three. We're gonna do um, one double crochet, two double crochet, three double crochet, four, five, and increase in the sixth. And we're gonna do this all the way around and I'll meet you back at the end. So now I'm at the end of round seven. I'm on my 63rd stitch. I'm gonna go 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, and then 69 and 70. And like always, slip stitch to combine. Now we're at round seven, and I'm gonna say if you have a smaller head or you want this beanie to fit smaller, I would stop increasing here, skip the next clip, and meet me back when we're moving on to the next step. So we're gonna do one more round of increasing. So this is round eight. We're gonna chain three, and we're gonna increase in every seventh stitch. So regular one, two, three, four, five, six, and increase on seven. I'm gonna do that all the way around and I will meet you guys towards the end. I'm at the end of round eight and I'm on 72. So I'm gonna go 73. 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, and 79, and 80 as my last stitch of this round. And I'm going to slip stitch to combine. Okay, so we just got done with round eight, and now we're gonna stop increasing, because if we keep increasing, it's gonna make the circle just get wider and wider to the point where it'll be too big for our heads. So now we just need to grow it in length for the beanie. So we are just gonna do regular double crochets all the way around. We're not increasing at all. Just work one double crochet in every single double crochet. You should have the 80 stitches at the end of each round because we ended on row eight with 80 stitches and we're going to slip stitch to combine we're going to chain three at every single round and just do it regular you know just chill do those five rounds and i will meet you guys back when i am done as well okay so i just finished my 10 rounds of double crochet and this is what it's looking like honestly this is too skater boy vibes for me i like my brim to be a little bit thicker lengthwise than this so i'm probably going to add one or two more rounds of double crochet but you just add however many rounds you like for the brim 
or however you like it to fit and I will meet you in my next clip. I have just completed 11 rounds of double crochet and in addition to the 8 rounds of increasing I have a total of 19 rounds for the entire hat. It's at my desired width and now all I'm going to do is add a single crochet border. For the single crochet border all I'm going to do is chain 1 and into my very first double crochet I'm going to insert my hook, I'm going to yarn over, pull up a loop, I'm going to yarn over and pull through both loops and that's your single crochet. So once again insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both. So I'm going to do one single crochet in every single double crochet around. I am on my last single crochet and I'm just going to slip stitch to my first single crochet to combine and we are done. <laughs> so cute so satisfying all you have to do now is cut your end like so and then just take that and pull it through and then create a little knot to weave in my ends I just take my larger needle put my ends together Thread them through. Then I go and flip it on this side since we're going to be folding it over. And I'm going to weave them through some stitches. Just really find some stitches that you think they'll stay through. No particular ones. Just like so. And I pull it through. And I'll go the other way. Then I will just cut that and then don't forget the one on the inside here. I weave this in at the beginning with my stitches so I don't have to weave it in at the end with the needle and we're done. I hope your guys' turned out great. Mine turned out so amazing and I'm so excited. To wear it then you just fold over the brim however you like it and there's your beanie it looks so cute I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did this you're amazing please DM me keep DMing me your guys's results it makes me so happy to see you guys making my things and I hope you guys have a good rest of your day just something cute and positive I wanted to show you guys how I add my little charms I love these little charms, they say, made with love. So what I do is I just take a little piece of yarn, I cut it off, I take my smaller yarn needle, I thread it through, like so. Then I stick this through my charm, pull one end through, like so. Then I find where usually I put my charms where the seam was. This seam was pretty um, seamless. So right here, and then I'll go in like so. Pull that through. Create a knot here. Do one more. Then I'll take my bigger yarn needle and pull these through and just sew this in like I did with the other ones. <laughs> Flex it, Dad.
Nice.